If you want to be able to buy the most expensive players and open the best packs in FC24, go to u7buy.com to buy your EA FC24 coins. It's cheaper than buying FC points and just as reliable. With their already amazing prices, you can get an extra 6% using promo code INCEPTION at checkout. Okay, guys, so we just finished the video for the um, American Evolution. So we're going to go ahead and check out the uh, Orange Onslaught, right? So this is going to be based off of the um, Dutch players, right? Some of the stuff that they're given from what I'm seeing so far, I don't know why Doom Freeze is the one that trends. I mean, nah, yeah, I, I wouldn't do it on Doom Freeze. I think putting it on a defensive player so far makes no sense because I'm also seeing that little press proven right there, you know? Uh, but... From the in-game stuff, this card gets a press proven. He gets a jockey, um, obviously really nice stuff. A weak foot improvement, and he gets pink pass, incisive pass, trivella, and technical. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Uh, Doom freeze would be <laughs> really low on the list for a card that I would actually give this to. To be honest with you, um, I think there's gonna be a bunch, a bunch of Dutch players that I think I think you should do your utmost best to avoid giving it to. CDM defensive type players like Doom Freeze and stuff. I just don't think that's going to make the most sense unless they have like an Intercept Plus and a Relentless Plus or something. Then, you know, but the play style pluses, they just make more sense for some different positions, right? So one of the positions will be Xerxes, right? So Xerxes card, uh, he does have a team of the season. The team of the season has Power Shot Plus, Power Header, and Rapid. Going to be honest with you. I would personally prefer some of these play styles. But again, it depends on the um, play style of a person, right? But if I was building some sort of like Dutch team, uh, you now get a Xerxes card who's four star, four star. Now, another thing to be very mindful of is that this card is also a four star, four star player. I thought he would be like five star or something, but uh, Xerxes team of the season is extinct. Oh, interesting. I guess for like SBCs and stuff, because I don't know if people actually like use that card like that. But. Yeah, he's one of the selections here. Um, as a striker, you know, Trivella pluses would be nice. Technical plus to compensate for body type would also be nice. But remember that they're also adding the press proven to a card like this. So as a more physical type attacker, right, who's six foot four, um, he is going to feel a little bit more responsive to work with, which is a W, right? Because this card is really really well formatted again for the engine chemistry style so you would try to improve his dribbling to be as high as possible but the press proven can kind of compensate that area a little bit because he's a physical type attacker anyways so your main concern is not going to be hey i need to have someone that defend or that dribbles really really well he's a pass and goal type of player as much as possible and i feel like he could do a pretty solid job now obviously in his case um, he is someone who lacks a five star in any of the positions of the weak foot or the skill moves. But I think it's still a well formatted card for people that are, you know, building some sort of like Dutch team. Because um, I could totally see this card doing like well enough, honestly. Like if this was an FC Porto card, I'd be all over this, to be honest. But yeah, depends on the person, right? Kite is also another card. This one would make sense if you did one specific thing with him. And I think you guys, if you guys have watched the contents for a while, you know exactly what I'm going to say before I say it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to chill before I even say it. Okay. Attacking oriented center mid, right? Very, very clear and obvious. All of the play style pluses would be very, very key things to work with in that specific position. Because with this card being well formatted for the anchor chemistry style, you can improve his pace his defense and his physical, right? But your defense is obviously like not super high, but it's decent enough to play in that specific position because you can either use him as a right center mid in that 4-3-2-1, or you use him in the right mid position playing in a three back formation because having a card like this that has some defensive capabilities, some physical and really good pace, right? Also working with a good work rate at a high high, it would be a W to work with in that position, right? So uh, not a bad card here, right? With Trivella Plus, I think for you to utilize that a lot, you definitely want to use him as a right center mid more. But as a right mid, it's definitely very possible for you to score those sort of opportunities um, when in, whenever given the opportunity, right? Gakpo is another card that has received an upgrade. This, it gets a little bit better for this card, right? Um, I would be mindful of Gakpo because honestly, if there's a card that gives him a press proven plus, I think that would be a really, really big deal for him. But... It's as I mentioned earlier, right? Because this one is being given the regular press proven, that's a really big deal because normally with Gokpo, 
He's very, very poor, poorly formatted in the balance department, right? So with this card, usability wise, in my opinion, it skyrockets a little bit because now you can improve his dribbling to be a little bit better. So he's not going to feel as sluggish and you can improve him in the dribbling department and his pace would at the very least be in the mid 90s area. Now, I do think for meta it should be significantly higher, but if you're just like general build up play, not always going for counterattacks type of player, this would be really nice, right? Because this card turns into a five star, five star player. He is given the press permit, so he might feel a little bit more responsive to work with. And then um, he has really good general play styles elsewhere as well. So Trivella Plus working with a regular finesse shot. You know, he's a five star, five star, so you can kind of utilize both, those both really well. Um, and then he also has like a little bit of physical. So usability wise for a free evolution, you really can't go wrong with this. That's why it goes up 7.7K because um, they're tr people try to find the most usable version of Gakpo. And this does seem to be like one of them, right? The play styles are definitely nice. It's a free evolution. So again, can't really go wrong um, with that decision if you were to go down that route. Uh, Depay. Depay would be an interesting one. I think Depay would be an interesting one because of one key reason. And the key reason is that his dribbling is usually very weird to work with. Okay. Now... With this card, I do feel like regardless of how things are formatted, I think you would still give him a hunter to improve the pace as well as the shooting. And then dribbling wise, the card has, again, a press proven, right? Uh, a press proven is a really big thing added to the card, right? Because obviously, if you go to the original card just from the rare gold and you go to the play styles, if it loads it up, he doesn't have any of that, right? And press proven does drastically change the cards, right? Like you guys know this because for instance, if you've ever dribbled with this card, right? It's a very physical type attacker, absolutely. But remember that he has the regular version of that press proven, which will make the cards a little bit more responsive to work with. So it could be a very similar situation to Memphis to Pi, right? Because his dribbling will still be in the 90s area, but now he's given a press proven while working with a really cool attacking AI sort of thing with the, well, I don't know about the attacking AI being good on this card, but he has the high low work rates, which, which would be really cool. Five star, four star, five foot nine, all the minimums are kind of met, right? And then obviously he's given all these like passing play styles too, which I think would be very helpful for him as well. Okay, so continuing on with the video for the uh, for the Dutch players here. Um, to Pi, we have a card like Timber. Yeah, I mean, listen, you, you can you can do it for cards like Timber if you want to. OK, you can. Um, I just think that with a card like this as a midfielder, especially. Um, I think you may want to give him like an intercept or something, because uh, if you use this card, he's attacking center mid, right? Four, three, two, one or something like that um, on a hunter controlled explosive player, higher pace, higher shooting capabilities. But don't know if it would make a lot of sense for people to kind of go down that route. Uh, again, with the female players, uh, they definitely seem to have a lot of very good choices. I think Nep might actually go for this one because she looks like a card that could be pretty decent, especially if given the engine chemistry style or the hunter. Because I think with the female players, oh no, she's five foot ten. Yeah, if she was, uh, if she was smaller, maybe. What's her body type? Average or normal? Yeah. So it kind of moves into the realms of like the guys, right? So the guys with the dribbling and stuff. However, very key thing to mention yet again is the press proven, right? Press proven might make her more responsive, good pl uh, passing play styles, and she's a five star, five star player. So you might not necessarily have to give her an engine. You know, you can probably give her like a, a hunter to increase her uh, pace and shooting to be as high as possible. And then it might compensate for the agility and balance being on the lower side, right? But yeah, that'll be mostly sentimental for people that want to build the sort of arsenal squads, right? CDM, if this guy's a medium high, just forget about it. Yeah, so forget about that because the play cells don't make as much sense. Um, you have cards like this that would be really cool for some people, right? Obviously, that play um, in the air divisie, his balance is horrendous. Really, really bad not poorly formatted for the engine maybe the press proven compensates but my goodness his balance is horrible that is very very low ruard is a player that is a five star five star player as well again female player so the dribbling might feel a little bit more responsive in game potentially because she is five foot nine with an average normal body type 
but then press proven is given to her so it could make her a little bit more responsive so again for the people that are building a man city team maybe right that want to have both the men and the women you get a pretty decent card there as well that's free um again with cards like this like Classen, you use them as the attacking center mid but mostly for someone that is an inter fan for that yeah I mean, there's a few cards you can give it to. Genie Wine, all them as well. You would have to use them the way that they pretty much use them in real life when you used to play for Liverpool. But he's kind of low in certain areas as well. So, yeah, it's just one of those types of evolutions where sentimental value will definitely play a very, very key part uh, for some of these cards. Like, obviously, if you're an Everton fan, Dan Yuma, this will be probably his best version. There's obviously this one here too, but those play styles, I don't think are as relevant as this one i think this one would be really really nice to be honest like having passing capabilities and a press proven that is very necessary to compensate for his uh poor dribbling i think would be very ideal um could, it looks like a card you could potentially give a finisher to to uh, make him more responsive as well as giving him shooting right so usability wise um definitely there as well but yeah there's definitely going to be a few options here to work with if you are going in a sentimental route i would avoid you know, giving it to center backs as well as like CDMs because the play style pluses just don't make sense for them, right? But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.